uh, starting from the place we uh, where we left last time so the next requirement is if I look all the way up uh, I should keep the character looking that way without slowly returning to the normal position similarly if I fully look to the right I need to keep it that way without turning the head to the normal position so that should be easy so actually uh, based on this condition if the lookup is zero I make the character slowly return to the normal position like this so now instead of only checking this condition let's do an and and if this one is true and also this x value is not in it's one of the edge values that means either it should not be in plus 60 or minus 60 to check that I'll get the absolute value of that so that means the value without minus and let's check if this value is less than 60 so if you have used plus 90 and minus 90 here then you should put 90 here if both these conditions are true I should return to the normal position and we can do the same for the look left and right like this right now if I completely look up you can see he keep looking up I have now released the mouse but he keeps looking up if I look down completely he keep looking down and if I completely look to the left he keep looking that way if I completely look to the right he keep looking that way right okay and uh, right now the next problem is when I move forward like this and as the camera switches you can see the character go to the right because uh, as the camera switches our input system mess up uh, so actually uh, the reason is we are we insert the input character input relative to the camera so that means if I now if I press W I am actually giving the character moment input away from the camera so here when I press W and if the camera switches now in here W means uh, away from camera that means go backward so that's the case so to make this smooth this transition is smooth maybe when we change the camera we can keep the camera keep the uh, camera forward or make it we we need to smooth out this transition a little bit so let's see how can we do that right uh, now the camera switching happens here so here we have trigger boxes like this and uh, in the level blueprint we have events on um, begin overlap events for these trigger boxes and uh, well based on the trigger box we trigger uh, we set view target with blend so this is how we change the camera angle basically um, right so here we need some way to communicate to the character like now the camera is changing so don't so keep the previous uh, moment 
for a while so that we can keep the character we can avoid violent rotations so movement direction changes in the camera so let's see how does we how do we add the inputs the movement inputs oh. so uh, actually here the movement is driven by root motion based animations not with usual add movement input nodes so we have this uh, word transform and input this desired transform okay so inside here so when we press w all right here we get the forward vector okay so when we press w we try to move the character away from the camera as i said before and we get the camera rotation only if you see the z component like this so now what we have to do is oh we need a way to okay let's uh promote now let's promote this to a variable camera forward no uh -uh. camera rotation okay now i am i'll update this in the tick set camera rotation I'll collapse this part now how do we update this well just like we have done here get the player camera manager get the transform component and get world rotation so uh, actually we only need the z component so why bother with the why do we need to keep this everything we don't so therefore i'll change this to float right and i'll directly put it here okay now yeah i'll go cut this part and here um, get the camera rotation i'll change the name to camera yo display and we can update it like this and uh, oh, so one okay right and this should still work let's see yeah it works and we still have the same old problem but now yeah we still have the same old problem and now let's add another yeah let's add a lerp here like this and alpha I'll promote to a variable Let's call it camera alpha and default value should be one right and then uh, 
temporary I need to set this to zero and uh, when we change the camera and we should trigger that part from here okay how to do that uh, uh, right let's define another interface PPI player character that's too generic player camera because because many uh, special purpose interfaces are better than one general purpose interface interface i think there is code interface segregation in solid principles so why shouldn't we follow them let's follow it those principles are there to be followed mm -mm, right temporarily freeze no camera changing let's call it camera changing okay and let's implement that interface here oh we need to connect it like this and let's now implement that event uh, camera changing right uh, now here I'll set the camera alpha to zero and add a delay of uh, three seconds point three seconds and set camera alpha back to one And in here we can get player character and call change camera let's oh, save in camera changing okay camera change We have to call it every time we change the camera. Right now, let's see what happens. right now we have time to change the camera okay maybe we can increase this time for us for one second right so now it's okay we don't have that violent camera change problem now see we have time to change our inputs Looks like there is some collider there. Okay. All right. That problem is fixed. 
so yeah i'll stop this episode at here um, and uh, if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye